opportunities. And Coach Troy G. Ward. So you look like a genius again going with Barry. Uh, <laughs> uh, basically a one nothing game through most of the time, uh, and he was able to keep them off the board. What, was, what do you think the key was to helping Barry do his job? Well, it's a team game. I mean, you got to give the guys in front of them credit. Um, you know, we had 4D that played significant amount of minutes tonight. Um, so, but it's a t it's a team game, and you got to give the whole team credit. I th I thought we thought we skated well. That's a very good skating hockey team. Uh, we know that probably the best we might face all year. So um, we play a 200 foot game every time we play them. But I thought uh, we got back and helped Barry out quite a bit. Uh, sometimes they say offense is the best defense. 39 shots is that by design tonight? Well, I don't, uh, we've talked about it since we um, since the defeat the other day. Like we've talked about it for a couple of days. Um, we practiced a little differently on Monday. Um, we weren't real happy with our offensive performance against uh, Oak City. You know, we didn't feel we put enough pucks on the net. And so it was a point of emphasis going into the game. I think that's what we're we're capable of doing. Um, because we're a smaller team, like we have to give and go and share the puck a lot. And then, uh, so by design tonight, we tried to do that, but you never know by design if it'll work out. Very fast paced game tonight. Are you looking at the same style of game tomorrow? Yeah, we've had three, uh, three of the same games. I mean, I look at that game, it's a one to nothing win. Um, you know, I know the score is different at the end, but it's a one to nothing win and we don't expect anything different. And, and they've played a lot on the road, so they're very comfortable on the road. I thought that was very evident in the game. And uh, they've played extremely tight games all year, so I, I don't see anything changing in terms of that um, at this point in time. Coach, uh, Chris Kalanos is the all-time leading goal scorer for the Heat. Uh, he did it in 67 fewer games than Cam Cunning. What does he <laughs> meant to your, your Cam Cunning was the guy? Yeah. Good Cam for Cam. Cam. Like, yeah. Cam's a good man. Uh, what has Chris meant? Well, you know, the one thing that I'll say about Chris tonight was that I thought he played extremely hard. That was one of the better skating games Chris has had for our team this year. So I thought that was important for Chris. Um, we do a round of clicks after the period if somebody fights in the locker room. And uh, I don't know if we'll ever do a round of clicks for Chris Kalanos again in a fight. So I'm real proud of him. Uh, but that's not going to happen very much. Um, but I thought, you know, anytime, anytime you have passion and emotion in a game, usually it results in hockey and something positive for you. Um, and so... It's a it's an emotional sport, and I thought Chris was um, he was dialed in from the from the get go, and I thought it showed. And you know what has he done for the franchise? The other part of your question, obviously, um, he's very capable of doing what he just did in a very short amount of time. Um, Chris is a type of player that's a result oriented player a lot in his life. Like he likes to shoot the puck, and and um, you know couldn't be happier for him. Like I'm glad he's a part of our organization, and it couldn't happen to a nicer man to be our leading scorer. A lot of rebounds given up, rebound opportunities from like Gary's goalie tonight. Do you see that as an opportunity for tomorrow night to work on? Yeah, there were rebounds tonight. I thought, um, you know, if I had to pick a star of the game, I'd have picked their goalie as the number one guy. I thought he was outstanding, especially Loy. He was extremely quick. Um, he did give us some rebounds, but, you know, he took away the, the lower part of the net consistently all night long. And my guess is the way they've rotated their goalie, I don't know if we'll see him back tomorrow, but. Um, you know, regardless, um, we've got to get to rebounds. And I thought it was a point of emphasis during the game on the bench, but um, to actually get them and make something happen, it, it didn't always uh, materialize tonight. But I thought we were more active tonight than we were in the uh, Oak City series tonight around the net. So that was good. Could you comment briefly on uh, Brett Olson's play so far this season? Well, Brett, i um, real happy for him. I've known Brett a long time in my life. Um, we've Our paths have crossed when he was in uh, juniors in the States. So I've known Brett a long time and through his days at Michigan Tech. Um, it's It's been a pleasure to coach him. I've always been kind of a an advisor some way or a, like a, a, a skills coach to him. Um, we've, we've, like I said, we've traveled together before. Uh, I was real happy that he came in and played the way he did this year and made our hockey team. Uh, he was given an opportunity by our management team to put us uh, the right foot forward, and he's done that. So, you know, what he's meant for us is he's a really good face-off guy. That's first and foremost. And second of all, he's he's got enough moxie and skill to him that he can make a lot of plays, as we've seen in a short amount of time, and he's responsible defensively. So he fits in well right now with um, Quint Lang and, and, and Ben Street on that line. And uh, he's really given us some good minutes. So I'm, we're real lucky to have him, and we're real proud to have him. Max Reinhardt sits for the first time this season. 
What was your decision making process sitting him? Um, just I think Max is uh, Max is one of our best prospects. He, he's he's a good player. He's got a great feel for the game. Uh, I thought he got out of the gates really well. He had some success late last year, and you know, in a few games that he got in, and then he got out of the gates well this year. And then in, it's lately here, it's been a little bit tougher. He's been a little bit under the weather with some little illnesses and sicknesses, and he's just kind of squeezing the stick and and you know, kind of pushing real hard. He wants to do really well. Um, so we're very conscious of that, and we're very proud of him. He's a great prospect, but we just felt it was time for him to watch up above and, and take a night off and, and kind of breathe a little bit. Last question, guys. Uh, Coach, very physical game out there tonight. Uh, ended physical as well. Is that something that boiled over from when you guys were in Lake Erie? Uh, I would say a little bit. I would say a little bit. I would just think that just a very competitive game. You know, when you're a player on the other team, if we switched shoes, like it was a one to nothing game. And, you know, you go down to the end and I don't know how many seconds there were left, at, but both coaches put out their fourth unit and, and that's kind of the muck and grinders. And, you know, so there's some passion in that. And I, I think that was just a result of more of tonight's game and the energy that was put in. I thought they played a, a good game. And, and we did too, and we were fortunate enough to be on the right end. But um, so you're always disappointed when you're on the on the wrong side. And I thought it was just a, a boil over of more tonight. That's great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. There's your milk, buddy. It's like there every night. Okay, I got a clock. I got laundry.